Hey, it's Natalie with the Isap Academy for the Travel Series Part 3. Now, once you're back, when you get back from a trip, from your holiday, you feel absolutely amazing, so relaxed, and sometimes you're dreading going back to work, right? So, rule number one, and maybe the image beside me, if you're watching the video, gave it away. Don't tell people you're back. <laughs> Don't. As I did mention in Part 1 of the Travel Series, um, leave your out-of-office assistant on for an extra day or so and they won't know that you're back you get some time to ease into it as you are back you don't have to go full on full speed as you on your first day back so it's kind of nice to to come back a, a, a day early kind of before the world knows that you are back second tip add an extra day of your trip so if you are going away um, for a business trip it's a bit different so in my case when I go on a speaking engagement and I have a lot of follow-up to do I always add an extra day after my speaking engagement to finish work to do all the follow-ups that I need to do to do my uh, maybe the, the closing of this speaking engagement, uh, record bonjouros, which are little video message to the people who hired me. Uh, there's there's a lot of, um, of afterwards and follow-up that needs to be done after a business trip. And I do it from the hotel because usually I've been away for two days, three days, and I miss my husband. So I don't want to come home and barricade myself in my office and say, ah, I can't talk to you. And my husband is right there. I miss him. I haven't seen him for four days and I want to go spend time with him, but I can't because I need to do all my follow up. So instead of coming home and not be present for my husband, I add an extra day. I do all my follow up. I'm ready to come home. And when I come home, and I'm fully there for my family. And and I don't have to go in my office right away and say, oh, don't talk to me, I'm busy now, I have to do my catch up. So add an extra day if it's a business trip so that you can come home and be present and open the door and say, so happy to see you. So how was your four days, what happened? And then you're more present than if you have to do all your catch up. Um, I use airports and airplanes to work as well. Um, I, I I can concentrate when there's noise around me and I have earphones. So um, I like to go park myself at the gate where my flight is gonna be and uh, or in the lounge. And then I can work and do a lot of catch up on the last day. So that when I get home, I've already identified uh, if there were some urgencies that will need to be addressed and in the aircraft as well. I, I don't even need the Wi-Fi. I load up all my emails before I get on. I do all my answers and next time that my computer will be um, plugged into the um, into the uh, <laughs> the Wi-Fi at home, then my emails are going to leave my, my, my mailbox. So it, or sometimes I do take the Wi-Fi on the aircraft, but I usually have plenty to respond without having access to the new ones. Um, when I answer my emails and I get back at my desk, I sort my emails in orders of in order of names instead of sorting them in order of um, date, because very often I will have multiple emails from the same person. And instead of responding to each and every one of them, I can potentially respond one email and say regarding this, 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 and that. And sometimes there will have been another email after that will have solved the email that they had sent previously. And it will have solved by itself and, and everything will be sorted out and I won't even need to answer. So I like to do it this way. That's just my preference. And the last piece is be grateful that you're back. Notice what is in your home that maybe you didn't have while you were away and and enjoy your own bed, your own pillow and and be grateful that you were away and that you got to go and, and, and cherish your memories. Uh, look at your photo album if you've done it while you were gone and, and enjoy uh, the fact that 
you went away, enjoyed the fact that you're back home, try to find what is excellent about where you are or about where you live and what was excellent about uh, the place you were during your trip. So be grateful and grateful to be home, grateful that you went away and just um, enjoy the fact that your mindset is in a better place. You got lots of, of different feel-good chemicals during your trip and then try to make it last. That, that, that emotion and that feeling of of being on holiday, try to make it last even when you're back home, just to feel a lot more relaxed and, and taking life maybe not as seriously and enjoying the present as you are working. Because if you do what you love, more likely you're kind of happy to be back at it.